Good morning, I'm Brian with TransWest Truck Trailer RV out of Frederick, Colorado. Today for live video, we're going to be walking around a 2021 Newmar Baystar 3616. So 36 feet, 11 inches long overall. Um, just a couple things while we're on the outside, I'll point it out every time in a Newmar video. Full body paint on this motorhome, no graphics, no stickers. Uh, it's really one of those things that kind of sets Newmar aside. Even on their entry-level motorhomes, it's always going to be paint and not graphics. It costs more money to do, but it keeps them looking nicer longer. So, um, just to keep up with tradition, we'll walk around the outside first, and then we'll head inside and look at everything in there. So, you can see up top there, you got about a 16-foot awning. It is a power extend, power retract. It's a little windy today, so I don't want to put it out. Um, but it is a nice carefree awning. As we come forward, we got storage, or come back, I guess. We got storage all the way down this passenger side of the motorhome. In this front compartment, storage along with a Xantrax 1200 watt inverter. So that's gonna convert 12 volt power to 110 volt power. Up above that, that's just a compartment for your, uh, or a cover, I should say, for your six gallon gas electric hot water heater. There is a little uh, sight glass there, so you can see if your pilot light is lit. So if you don't think it's working and you walk out and there's no pilot light, yeah, you're right, it's not working. So back behind that bay, you do have another big storage here. This is a pass-through on the top. And then directly above that storage, Samsung 32 inch LED TV, HD TV. Back behind here, a little bit of storage, but the more important thing in here is this fresh water tank. So you can see that it has a little bit of a thermal blanket on it, keep it warm um, in the winter when it's below freezing temperatures. And then also you'll notice all Numar bays are carpeted to keep things from sliding around. More storage behind that. Over here on the left side, you have what four 110 outlets, GFCI outlets for plugging things in while you're out camping. You also see the bottom of your uh, black tank there. <clears throat> and coming back, one more bay, just another big storage, another pass through up top. So for a gas motorhome, this does have a substantial amount of pass through storage. And then a Cummins Onan Quiet Gas 5500 watt generator, more than capable of running both your air conditionings, uh, your microwave, your refrigerator, everything that you need to um, if you do need a little bit more power. And then in the very back, more storage, another holding tank, but another pass through storage. So all of your holding tanks, your gray and black tank, two black tanks on this one, uh, do have heat pads on them for winter camping. Uh, keeps you out, you know, out camping a little bit later in the season. So, full fiberglass rear cap with LED headlight or tail lights. Up top, we do have a backup camera, and that'll be a full color camera when we look at it inside. Down below, a two-inch receiver with a 5,000-pound towing capacity, and then a seven-pin connector for your trailer brakes and trailer lights. And then this right here is just an exhaust pipe for the generator. So it shoots it out the back so that it's not putting the fumes from the generator into your campground. Coming around to the driver's side, uh, one thing I do want to point out, and we'll look at it closer indoors, but this has an emergency egress door in the back of the motorhome. So at, we'll just say 37 feet long, if there's a fire in the middle of the coach, it's easier to get to this door than go all the way forward to the main door. So this is the black tank for your rear bathroom. So you have a total of 92 gallons of black tank capacity. You have two black tanks because they don't want to run black tank plumbing from the rear bathroom up to the front. I'll show you, or we'll kind of understand that more here in just a little bit. Forward to that one, just a nice storage bay. And then forward to that bay, you have a hose storage as well as your fuel fill. So this is a gasoline motor coach. Uh, so you have an 80 gallon fuel capacity 
And then down below, this is just hose storage for your black tank or your uh, sewage hoses. So that they're not in a bay with all your stuff. They do tend to get a little nasty. Another storage compartment. So you see this black tube on the side here? That's a drain from the roof. So they run it down to the bottom of the coach so that water isn't pulling on your, uh, on your roof. And it's also not pouring off the sides where you're trying to camp. Forward to that, we do have a water bay. So a couple things to look at in here. Fresh city water connection, front black tank flush, rear black tank front flush, again, two black tanks. This is just a valve to choose city water versus tank fill outside shower with hot and cold water and then over here on the right you have a remote water pump switch so you don't have to run inside to turn your water pump on if you want to use a shower you can just do it out here and then a whole house water filter and then just forward of that bay um, another sewage dump there so that's going to be where you dump your gray and black tank your front black tank um, so both the valves are in there, it's inside, it's protected, the valves aren't hanging out where they can get damaged by road debris. Another storage compartment with the winterization tube. So with this tube, when it's time to winterize, if you want to do it yourself, you pull this little cap off, shove this down in a bottle of antifreeze, turn your water pump on, it's just going to suck antifreeze through the entire system, keep you from freezing up. One more forward, just another big storage compartment. For a gas motorhome, this is incredible storage. And then forward to that, this motorhome is optioned with a residential refrigerator, which gives you the four batteries instead of two. So there's four batteries here, they're on a tray. There's just a little locking pin, but this will pull out. When the slide is in, it's gonna pull out far enough that it's very easy to get to those batteries. And lastly in the front, a 25 gallon propane tank that's going to fire your uh your furnace your stove and your water heater if you have it on propane uh over here on the side some side view cameras so when you turn your blinker on it'll show you that side of the motorhome we'll go over that a little more inside and then this is a 2021 which means you get the new ford 7.3 liter v8 engine putting out 350 horsepower, 468 foot-pounds of torque. I mean, those are numbers that you see in diesels. So yeah, it's a gas, but it still gives you a lot more power for a lot less money um, over a diesel. Just while we're here, the stock number to this unit is 5N201374. Again, it's a 2021 Newmar Baystar 3616. That pretty much wraps up walking around the outside. We'll head in and look at some of the stuff in there. Um, one thing I do want to point out, and this is where things kind of, if you're familiar with the new Mar Bay Star Sport, or if you're looking at other manufacturers um, in the same price point, this is on a 26,000 pound chassis. So benefit to that is you jump up in tire size, wheel size. So you go to uh, 22 and a half inch wheels and 255 on tires. It's just more weight capability. So uh, when you're driving down the road, you'll get a lot less buck and bounce out of it because these tires are designed to handle the weight versus the smaller tires, which don't quite have the capacity of that. I'm gonna let Jody go inside first so I can shut this door because it's like 12 degrees outside and I got the heat on inside. Okay, welcome inside this 2021 Newmar Baystar 3616. Um, as soon as you walk in, you get just beautiful Newmar styling. One thing I want to look at right here, I just told you it's 12 degrees outside. I have the furnace set to 73 degrees and the inside temperature is 72 degrees. So a 40,000 BTU LP furnace uh, keeps it nice and toasty in here. I don't think anyone would ever live in a motorhome at 72 degrees because it's a little hot, but it's capable of doing it if you want to. So, looking at the driver's side, the off door side of this motorhome, beautiful booth dinette. This will drop down and make a bed for a small child. Plenty of room here uh, for two people on either side. 
with nice lighting up above. One thing I didn't show you on the outside, but I'll talk about it here. Uh, this is a tinted dual pane window. Every window in here is a tinted dual pane window. So it does a couple things for you. Keeps the noise from the outside down, keeps it warmer in the winter, cooler in the summer. Uh, dual pane windows are just great technology. So coming back over the sofa, three extremely deep cabinets. So they go all the way to that wall. They're about eight inches tall there. And there's no dividers here. So you can put longer stuff in there if you needed to. Notice the accent lighting up in the fascia there. It just looks really good. Three person sofa, also a sleeper. So this is definitely a family model coach. Um, there's a lot of sleeping in here. So folds down into a jackknife. Very easy to operate. Look at the kitchen really quick before we head too far back. Start up top with just another huge storage. You see your manuals up in that bag there. So every manual, or it's a manual for every appliance inside of this motorhome, as well as your slide out systems, your chassis, all that stuff. All in a consolidated nice bag. Another big storage. This shelf is adjustable, so you can move it up and down as you please. Storage up above the microwave. And then down below that, we have that 30 inch Whirlpool convection microwave. So no oven in this motorhome. Instead, you get a convection oven out of it, but that's a huge oven. It is very similar in size to what you would see in an RV oven. Down below that, you have a solid surface countertop with a nice cover. The cool thing about how they do these covers is they just fold up and tuck away back there so you don't have to find a place to store it. But three burner gas cooktop, cooktop with an electric igniter. Over to the left of that, a tool bar, two bowl residential style sink, undermount sink. And on that faucet, you also have a sprayer. And then down below the countertop, as Neymar always does, just a ton of storage. So in a family model motor home, you need the storage because you're not just taking two people. You're gonna take five, six. All these drawers are quiet clothes. So you don't have to worry about people slamming them and doing damage. All your remotes for your TVs, as well as your Bose soundbar. Great thing Newmar does, you do get just some touch up paint. We're all human, not a lot of people are used to driving a 36 foot motorhome. Occasionally you'll rub it against something and you have the ability to fix it. Another big storage, here's the other cover to the sink. And then one more down below. Oh, uh, Whirlpool residential refrigerator. Nice and big. Plenty of food, or will hold plenty of food so you can stay out away from town as long as you want to. And then there is just a built-in locking mechanism there to keep things from sliding around, the door opening while you're driving around. Kind of show it again, it just slides. Very simple. And directly behind that, another big pantry. Again, all these shelves are adjustable, so if you need to put something taller in there, cereal boxes, two liter, uh, whatever you need to put in there, you can adjust these shelves to what you need. Which brings us back more into living room with more storage, more adjustable shelves. You got the Samsung TV here on an arm. So if you're sitting at that dinette, you can actually turn this TV to where you could see it. You can turn it this way, just a lot of adjustment there. And it's just magnetic, so you don't have to deal with a mechanical lock that you're trying to pull down on to get this thing to pull away from the wall. And then down below the TV, more storage. Oh, so I keep saying it's a family model. That's kind of, or this is kind of what makes it that. You have the dual bunk beds, little ladder here. This will just kind of pop off um, for storage purposes while you're driving down the road and then pop back on. 
So on each bunk, you do have a window, both top and bottom. And then in that window, there's also a shade that'll drop down for privacy. I'll show you that in just a little bit. But this is a very decent sized bunk at six feet tall. Uh, I mean, th at six feet tall, I'm kind of right at that limit, but I can still lay down flat. If I didn't have big boots on, I'd probably be able to back off of the walls just a little bit, but I'm just barely touching, so plenty of room. So, but coming back, we do have a bathroom here. I'm gonna let Jody come around so I don't open the door into him. So, full-size hanging mirror there for when you're getting ready. But this is just your half bathroom. So this is why this motorhome has two black tanks. So you're gonna have one for this bathroom and then one for the bathroom in the back. There is great storage in this bathroom as well. You have a medicine cabinet, a linen cabinet, and then a ton of storage down below the sink there. Another solid surface countertop with an undermount sink. Four, five drawers and two cabinets just on that sink. And then if we look back in here for linen storage, just a really nice area in here. Up above that one, circuit breakers and fuses all inside so you don't have to go outside in a cold snowy day and fight circuit breakers if you accidentally pop one. And then we'll just open these up quickly. So just a lot of storage for all your guest toiletries, you know. And then last but not least, you do have two GFCI outlets, 110 volt for those hair dryers, curling irons, the things that need them um, while you're getting ready. I'm going to back out of here, which brings us into the master bedroom. So real quick, just for privacy, since those bunks are kind of close to this master bedroom, you do have a little pocket door there. So it does come all the way across. And then it does have a lock built into it. So when it's tucked back into the wall, it's already locked. You don't have to have an ugly strap hanging across the, uh, hanging across the opening there, sorry. So queen size bed up at the top. You do have great cabinetry. Two 110 outlets up there as well. If you're a CPAP user, there are places that you can run a hose through those cabinets. So you can just leave your CPAP up there nice and consolidated. You do have a little nightstand on either side of the bed and then more storage underneath the bed. On the opposite side of the bed, you do have another Samsung 32 inch HDTV strictly for the bedroom. Down below that, just a little counter space here. You know, put your phone, put your wallet, put your keys, um, keep it all in the bedroom with you. Down below that, just an AV cabinet. You have a Sony DVD player in there right now. If you want to put a satellite on top of this motorhome, that's where you would put your satellite receiver. And then five drawers underneath and a nice big closet area up top pull this out really quick what you just saw was a cushion for when you make the dinette into a bed that's going to be your filler and then we'll go into the master bathroom so uh bath and a halfs are cool because the rear bathroom is usually huge, you get a little bit bigger shower. So it's six feet tall, 250 pounds. I still have plenty of room to, you know, do whatever I need to in the shower. Another solid surface countertop with an undermount sink. Another medicine cabinet. And then three drawers on the side of the cabinets here. cabinet down below the sink 
and then another three drawers pretty much identical to what we just saw on the other side and then as a bonus one more linen closet if you wanted to you could pull those shelves out and turn this into a hanging closet if you need more hanging space um, but with the capability of sleeping one two three four five six seven eight people storage is a must to have um, so we talked about this on the outside we'll just open it up really quick emergency egress door over this toilet so if there was an issue in the middle of the coach and you couldn't make it to the front exit you could jump from here there's a little ladder that will pop down out of this door if you needed it personally i think if uh if i was bad enough that it was coming out this door i'd probably just take the jump So that shows you pretty much all of the living space to this new Marbay Star. Um, we'll look at the cab really quickly. Just a couple things to go over. I've mentioned it, but this does have two 15,000 BTU air conditioning with heat pumps in them. So you have the 40,000 BTU furnace, but you also have two 15,000 BTU air conditionings that can provide heat as well. Um, your water capacities are 75 gallons of fresh water, 60 gallons of gray water, and 92 gallons of black water. So lots of water capacity. Uh, this unit, we optioned it with solar prep. It's not solar equipped, but we could put solar on top of it if you want to. Our service department does that stuff on a daily basis. Um, very easy to do. So Jody can just kind of come pan around this cab. Um, I'll just walk you through it very quickly. So over on the left side, this is gonna be the control pad for your auto leveling system. So push it on, push auto level, and all four jacks will drop down and level you out. It also acts as your stabilizer, gets the uh, sway out of the suspension. Over here on the left side, just to your control panel, you have headlights here. You do have the automatic option that we're used to in uh, personal vehicles now. Hazard lights, uh, power mirrors with heat. So if it's a foggy day, you turn your heat on, it'll keep your mirrors nice and clean. Uh, traction control. Battery boost, if you were to run out of chassis battery power while camping, you can hold this. It'll take the battery power off of the motorhome portion and uh, help you start your engine. A remote generator start switch, so you can start it while you're driving down the road if you want to get those air conditions going and start cooling it down before you get to your destination. Overhead fans. In this cab, there are two overhead fans. Dome lights, which is also kind of just a map light. On the steering wheel, you have controls for your dash as well as cruise control. And then over in the center here, I have it down right now, but you do have a power shade across the dash. And then the Exit radio, which does come with Rand McNally navigation. And then you have a Voyager screen that is just dedicated to cameras. So right now we're looking at a rear view camera. If I were to put this motorhome in reverse, it will bring up a little essentially indicators to tell you how many feet back something is so the seven is seven feet back all the way to a foot back that's also where you're going to display your side view camera so right now I just turned on my left blinker looks a little funny because I got doors open and slides out but just a nice big screen there full color and there's a microphone in that rear backup camera as well so if someone's back there guiding you um, you can actually hear what they're saying instead of trying to focus on hand signals. Also, we optioned this coach with the folding cockpit table. So, more seating for the family model coach. If you're having a cocktail hour, this is a great place for guests to sit. Um, just awesome little table and it is sturdy and very easy to put away and pull out. Both of these seats will swivel and turn around. So they become part of the living area as extra seating as well. And then last thing for the cab, just a little workspace for the passenger. I know with COVID and everything going on, there are a lot of people working from home, working on the road. So great workspace here. Drop that down up above the cab. You have a storage cabinet over on this right side. In the middle, you have an additional Samsung 32-inch HDTV. 
And then on the left side, another AV cabinet for your living room area. So if you're gonna put a satellite dish on top, this is where the satellite would be, the receiver would be for that TV in the middle I showed you on that swivel arm. And then up above the steps here, really quick, just all your general coach controls. So digi level tank, level monitor. Uh, so you got fresh water, propane, gray tank, black, black tank one and black tank two, as well as battery levels. So shows you all your levels right there in one place. You don't have to go searching for it. Controls to turn your hot water heater on and off. You have an electric switch and a gas switch. The electric switch will only run if you're on shore power or running the generator. Battery disconnect for storage. So if we shut this off, it'll literally just kill all the power in this motorhome. Help uh, keep your batteries charged up while you're not using it. Step on and off. Slide out control. Awning lights. Awning extend and retract. Tank heat pads up here. So those are those heat pads on your gray and black tanks to keep it uh, them warm during the winter. Power control, so you'll see I'm on a 50 amp service, that's all it's going to tell you. And then down below the panel to turn on and off your Xantrax 1200 watt inverter. So I think that one pretty much wraps up this 2021 Newmar Base Star 3616. Uh, if there's any questions about this unit or any other unit in my inventory, as always, feel free to give me a call. 303-684-3433 or send me an email at brian.moritz at transwest.com. Thank you guys for tuning in and we'll see you tomorrow when we're walking through a summit adventure van.